Hi everyone, how are you? Gail from Wolfswap. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about um, uh, opening up one of my, uh, a Wolfswap parcel that I received from the lovely Rosie in Orkney in Scotland. So hi Rosie if you're um, watching. So thank you very much for sending me through your lovely parcel. Um, and now I wanted to just tell a little bit about Rosie. She contacted me and asked if she had many people who were vegans who were wool swappers. And I actually said to her, I didn't believe that I had too many. And, um, I, and that I would be willing to swap with her because she only wanted to exchange um, vegan yarns. So no wool, nothing like that. So I thought, well, I'll do that. So I had such fun putting together a parcel of goodies for her and I did learn about quite a lot of bit of different yarn. And um, yeah, so I had fun searching from uh, within Australia and also I got some stuff from the USA that I sent to her. And we posted them around the same time and I received my beautiful parcel from her on uh, Friday. And I did open it yesterday because I can't help myself, but today I wanted to just show you what um, she put in. And she actually sent me a message and said that mine arrived yesterday and so she was going to open it today. So hopefully uh, you like what I gave you, put in your box, Rosie. And um, okay, so let's get into it. So I've been very, very spoiled. So it was a fantastic big box here that came from here, it came all the way from uh, Scotland. Uh, to Brisbane here in, here in Australia and anyway so I've got this start at the beginning I've got this cute little card so I'll just open this up it's so exciting it's like Christmas coming all once so she's this is cottage and oyster catcher North Ronaldson and look at that it's such a beautiful beautiful card so this is from an Orkney artist called Jane Glue and so she's written me a little note um, hi gal hope you love everything I put together for you and I've had a lot of fun shopping for you as you'll see I've gone a bit overboard but I just knew you'd love the local things especially you could call this a yarn swap needs a travel box so that's fantastic too so that's another thing when you're if you're new to wool swapping or even been a wool swapper for a long time and are stuck for what to put in. Don't forget to put some little local stuff in because um, that's always exciting. And especially now when we can't travel as much, it's like you can bring your part of the world to your wool swapper's part of the world. I think it's fantastic. She goes, I chose a local card for you. It's made by a well-known artist here and she does lovely work. I love that it featured an oyster catcher bird as it is one of my first Orkney memories. And uh, yeah, she's in love from Rosie. So yeah, very much. Thank you, Rosie. Love it. So that's the card. And I must apologize to poor Rosie because when I packed up my parcel to her, I was so excited about wrapping it all up and putting little clues on her individual packages that I forgot to put my card in. So I do apologize. <laughs> I was just super excited and wanted to get it posted, so eek. Okay, let's have a look. So I'm um, just randomly, because as you can see, I've already kind of unwrapped some of it. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to pull out is limited edition green earl tea. So this is loose leaf tea. That's so cool because I do love green tea. I always have a green tea first thing in the morning. And I also have started um, doing a bit of journaling and I've started a tea journal, which is just um, after I've had a tea that's um, from around the world somewhere, because heaps of people send me teas all the time, which I love. Um, I've just been looking them up about the history of that tea, particular tea and writing a little story and doing a bit of journaling to do, go with that. So can't wait to try this one. And it's funny, um, I'm not quite sure if you can see behind me, there's an orange teapot in the background. We pulled them out of the cupboard the other day. So now I know why. So I can have some fresh loose leaf green tea. It's exciting. All right, let's have a look. So these are just random. And... Everything has been nicely wrapped in tissue paper. 
and with a little note. So she's written a little note for every single thing. And it's to basically tell me um, where this has come from. So this gorgeous little stuff, look at this. <laughs> I can believe it. Look how amazing that is. I love those colors. You nailed it, Rosie. That's every single color I love, all in the one skein. So this is, okay, Sassy Hanks Yarns. Now, I've never heard of any of these people, so I am gonna madly go and look them up after I film this. Sassy Hanks Yarns, quality, it's called Quality Street, is the name of it, and it's 100% bamboo, four ply, and that's 50 grams for each one. So they say, so I have never worked with, I've knit with cotton years ago, but I've never worked with anything other than wool, basically. Um, so it says hand dyed yarn, cool hand wash, dry flat, out of direct sunlight. And it says to use three to four millimeter needles or two to five millimeter or three millimeter crochet hook. But I cannot, I cannot just say how soft it is. It is the softest thing I've hung on to for a long time. So, whoop, whoop. So I'll just see, because on some of them, she has um, actually recommended some patterns and actually popped two patterns in the box as well. So I'll just see. Uh, no, she just says, I hope you enjoy the yarn. Bamboo has a lovely drape and it's perfect for garments and it's lovely against the skin and great for hotter weather. So that's very considerate and very thoughtful. So that's the first lot. Oh, so exciting. Okay, what's next? I have already wrapped it. Again, everything's got a little, a little note with it. Uh, so this one is bamboo. Oh, this is, this is a beautiful blue. So pretty. So pretty. And again, very soft. Not as soft as the other stuff, but this is hand dyed. I think this is from the same, must be from the same dyer. Um, this is called the Mermaid's Purse Yarns. Sky blue is the colour and it's 40% cotton, 60% blue bamboo and this one is DK so maybe I might make oh I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but oh it's so exciting look so pretty I love totems definitely do okay look at here something can close to See. Everything's got a little note, so I have to make sure I've got the right notes. Oh, so she, this is a little yarn sample from an indie dye that she bought some stuff from. Sorry about the crinkling out. So this was very thoughtful of her to include this. This is Italian Merino Peacock, and it's called Sassy... Oh, Sassy Hanks is the name of the dyer, obviously. Oh, it doesn't have a colourway, but how cute's that? Again, loving all the rainbow colours. So, that was very kind of her to include that. And she said, um, <coughs> she got it as a gift because she was ordering some stuff, but because she's a vegan, she's very, um, very thoughtfully popped it in my parcel. Yay, thank you. I'll tell you, super spoiled. Now, this one would have to be my favorite, I think, because it's just so unusual and I've never seen anything like it and I love it. Okay, check this out, folks. Da 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 da. Oh my goodness. And I don't know if you can see, it's kind of rippled, it has a rippled effect. I hope you can see that. Oh my goodness, and this is from the Vegan Yarn Co. in UK, veganyarn.co.uk. 
and this the label so cute it's printed on plantable wildflower seed paper best planted early spring and it's got a little stitch marker so that's cute and i'll read on the back sorry uh, sunny side up and it's called Pleiades, I think P-L-E-I-A-D-S sock and it's that's 100 grams and I think she does tell me what Pleiades is uh, ah, it's called Pleiades sock yarn and comes directly from vegan yarn the supplier who and also hand dyed artist in the USA this yarn was then dyed by a lovely UK dyer as veganyarn.co.uk this is the info on the actual yarn. So this one is 55% bamboo, 24% cotton, and 21% elastic. Fingering sock weight. So it's ideal for socks, shawls, and garments. So I think I'm gonna make a pair of socks out of these for sure. How nice is that? Not as soft, but I reckon you can make a beauty pair of socks. Very spoiled. Ooh. But wait, there's more. Right, so. So, she's gone to a company called Rainbow Fusions. Also based in the UK, check those out. Now, this one is very interesting because, oh, so this is Pink Aurora. It's 100% tinsel, four ply, and this one's Green Aurora. So I think it's got something to do with the Northern Lights as well. Uh, silk, what's it say on there? Oh, tinsel, but she does tell me. Um, Tinsel is very versatile and can be used for all types of clothing because I've never, I think I have one skein of tinsel in my um, stash, but I've never used it before. Um, can be used for all types of clothing, but not socks, blankets, shawls, and pretty much anything. You can substitute tinsel for the yarn in most patterns as long as it's written for the same weight. Um, and then... So natural shine, doesn't split, has a clear stitch stiffness, doesn't split or stretch, strong, breathable and absorbent, so that's great. Um, now she's saying it's tensile is 100%, let's try that one, 100% sustainably sourced wood waste and is efficiently manufactured local and biodegradable. Wow, I did not know that. See, this is the great thing about exchanging with people from around the world and getting to know them, is you get all this stuff and you learn new stuff every day. Woohoo! And then this is one where she has actually chosen a pattern for me, and I'll just see. She's chosen a pattern called Dangling Conversation, and apparently has beads in it. So she also um, sent me some matching beads to go with it. So I can't wait to try that because I have never knit with beads either. So this is gonna be exciting. So yeah, so oh, love those. And I think these colors are, oh yes, yeah, so these colored ways are, um, are uh, inspired by the Northern Lights. So that's why one's called Green Aurora, one's called Pink Aurora. And the Northern Lights is one thing on my bucket list to uh, go and see. Maybe a few years down the track yet, but hopefully get to travel again. So yeah, super excited. So let's see what else. Oh yes, and here's some more from the same dyer. Now this one was a custom dye that she got done. Whoop whoop. Oh, and I'm just in love with this gray color at the moment. I think that's fabulous. This one's gray. So, so this one is 70% 70, 70 bamboo, 30% linen, four ply. 
check that out. I just, I like that kind of slate gray color. Cause I have lots of bright colors um, in my stash, but I think I don't have as many traditional kind of grayy colors. So, and then I've got this one, which is called Bright, Bright Rainbow. And again, that's 70%. So these were custom, custom dyed, especially for me, because Rosie picked them out. And it's for a pattern. I will have a quick squeeze here. Pattern's called Lazy Hiker Wrap by Laura DeBratz. And she's actually given me um, copies of these patterns as well in the parcel. So yeah, super. What another good idea is to um yeah just to kind of suss out what you think your wool swapper likes and then suggest a pattern with the yarn because wow what a fabulous idea so thank you rosie and thank you so much for getting a custom dive done for me that's perfect love it so can't wait to try that as well oh just near enough hours in the day to knit hey Okay, and now, I think that's all the yarn, but wasn't that amazing? That's so much yarn. And then I got some little touristy things, which are fantastic. So I got this tea towel. Now she asked me if, um, she said her husband does all the cooking in her house. So she asked me if I could get an Australian themed tea towel for her husband, which of course, no trouble. So I did that. And then yeah, she's popped this one in my parcel, which is fabulous as well. Look at that, Orkney. Wee. It's fantastic. So again, that's another great idea. Right, what else we got here? We've got this cutest little tin. Oh my goodness, I love tins. Bits and bobs. And then on the back it says, a tin to hold oh, many lovely things. Emma ball knitting. Oh, knitting puffins. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. So let's check out what's in here. Oh, I, I love tins. I really am addicted to tins. <gasps> now, I haven't really pulled these out. These are buttons. Oh my goodness. Check these out. Handmade in Shetland by Sarah Kay. Sand from Baines Beach Lyric is featured in the TV series Shetland. And I do watch, I have watched that show and love it. Look at them. May, and it actually moves around a little bit. Oh my goodness, so what have we got? Two, four, six. Six of those. Fabulous. So this tin is for my buttons now. I love the tin, it's so cute. It's the small things. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I love it. Okay. Okay, what else we got? Okay, this looks interesting. So this is 50 South Field tea bags. Wow. Which 100% plastic free unbleached paper. Now that's another thing I've never tried. So I'm going to give that a go. Maybe with the loose leaf tea that she gave me. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, look. A puffin coaster. So cute. Such a talented artist, Emma Bull. Ball. Uh, she's given me this plain card. A blank card, but that's cute. Because I love cards and my other part of my hobby is stationery. I can use that. We've got some more teas. E ticket. Two tea bags and a ticket. Blooming marvelous, that one. And this one is Isle of Harris gin tea. Ooh, that could be a goer. So yeah, they're cool. Okay, a couple, couple more things here. Okay, I've got a fantastic a my knitting project bible. This is amazing. I actually do already have one of these, which I'm using, but I've nearly used up. So perfect. I was looking for one of it to get something like this. So it's 
great. Look at that. You can put all your stuff in. Thank you. Okay, Northern Lights Magnet. Cool. Oh, an Orkney pin badge. That's so cute. I love the puffins. So cute. And check this out. A bag. This is art by Chloe Gardner. And that. Love it. This is fabulous. I'm not quite sure these cows are called, but I know they're look at that. So that is gonna be fantastic. Thank you so much, Rosie. So wow, that's it, but very, very spoiled. So I hope if um, I've just uh, passed on all the wool, the wool swapper details for the July round. So I hope you're all getting excited and wanting to um, start to think about what you're gonna pop in a parcel. And I'm swapping um, this round as well. So I've already been online and and know what I'm gonna get my partner. So um, yeah, it's super exciting. So I just wanted to pop on to show you my beautiful parcel from Rosie. So thank you very much, Rosie. And I also just wanted to quickly show you what I'm working on knitting wise, because if some of you follow me on Instagram, I did post that I was about to cast on something. So I have, and I'm super excited. And here's my little book, the book I already have. Very nearly finished it. Okay, so yesterday, now as you're probably aware if you've been watching some of my um, episodes before, I do have about 10 work in progresses. But I kind of, just the last few weeks, I've been just getting a bit bored and a bit of stuck with my knitting and not feeling like knitting and yeah, crazy. So I bit the bullet and cast on a new thing yesterday and this one is going to be Rocket Tea by Tan Tanis Tennis. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. La Valley, La Valley. And this is what I've chosen. I've started already. Now, do let me know. Oh, 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 I hate that. Sorry, come on, stop. I have started already, but do let me know if you think this might be okay, these together. Look at that. So what it is, is this is four ply, this bright speckly color, this one. This is from Scoop, uh, Skip Row, an Australian dye, and I got given this in a um, another wool swap parcel from earlier on in the year. And this is this other one is some mohair oh my god look at that from little uh, i wrote it down here little woolly makes and they're from victoria melbourne also australia anyway so what it is is it's a stripe of this one the four ply and then a stripe of the mohair and it's knit on 3.75 mil needles which is just um little bit bigger i normally knit my stuff like this one was knit on three and a half so i normally knit smaller so it's a little bit more stretchy but yeah it's going to be the rocket t so anyway i just thought i'd show you my progress so far and i'm solely gonna work on this this is gonna be my challenge to try and just monogamously work on this one solely so hopefully You'll be able to see it see progress okay folks well that's it for this week so yeah i just want to pop on and show you my wonderful parcel from rosie so i hope you're doing fine and well and if you want to see more of also don't forget to subscribe because remember when i get to 100 i'm going to do a start doing a giveaway um so i think i'm really close so yeah and um i'll catch you next time so stay safe stay well bye